Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm going to do another let's color type thing. I'm going to color all of the images from this stamp set. This stamp set is called Farm Friends. It is from, I believe it was the February MFT release. So we're going to do this one. Um, if you guys are enjoying these, I did one already. If you're enjoying them, let me know down below. I can go through and do some of my other sets because I <coughs> have one or two stamps in my stash, just one or two. Um, and I can do things like this too where I'm going to go through and I'm going to color the whole, everything and I'm going to post a video and over on my blog I'm going to turn all of these into cards and post them at the same time. So you'll be able to see all of the images colored and then all of the cards I put together with it. So if you're interested in those let me know and I'll do a bunch more. But for now we're going to do this one with Farm Friends and I'm going to color all of these up with you guys. So here we go. Alright so I'm stamping everything out with Momento Tuxedo Black Ink onto a piece of this is Copic Express It blending card. This is paper I prefer to use for my Copics. They didn't stamp that very well but um, I like the way it blends better. I find it soaks up less ink. I get a lot less of colors bleeding outside of my lines and things of that nature. Uh, I believe it's whatever you've learned to stamp on is what you should continue to stamp on and this was the first paper I tried and it's always just worked for me. Some people love Nina. I use it when I mix distressings with my Copics and stuff. But for the most part, this is my go-to paper. So definitely whatever you pick, pick something that you can afford to buy all the time and learn to color on. So I've got all of these little guys stamped out and now we're going to start coloring them. I will twist my hand so that you guys can see a little better once I realize that my hand is completely in the way. And we are going to color this up green. Um, unfortunately, I cannot see the size of the cap on my screen at the moment. I do believe it's a G28, but don't quote me on that. And because it's small where I'm watching myself currently color and I colored this like months ago like in March and it's now June so cut me a little slack that I don't remember exactly what colors I'm using we're going to try this will be a YG probably 17 so yes that would have been a G28 would be my guess I'll find out if I'm sure if I'm right or not in a little bit I guess um so we're just gonna go over top of our darkest color, slowly blending everything out into the middle. And I do that as we get lighter going through all of our colors. I'll always go back over the previous ones in order to get a smooth transition between all of my colors so it doesn't look like it's just different lines of color and everything blends together really nice. I tend to go overboard on the amount of markers I use. You don't need to use as many markers as I do and any of that stuff. Just do what works for you. So we're going to color this into a green tractor. And then I zoom in a little closer because I realize I'm way too far away. And we're going to start with C7. And I'm just adding shading to the metal pieces. What I consider would be chrome and that kind of thing, like in the wheel well and the um, exhaust pipe on the front of it there. Now we're going to go in and do, I add a little bit of blue to the glass. Wow, it's been a long time since I've colored these. I'm trying to remember what I did and I have no idea. So I just kind of have to wait until it tells, shows me. And there's a bunch of dead air here. This is really weird. I usually don't do this. Hmm. There we go. I would normally go back and cut that out and start the voiceover again. But I think it's absolutely hilarious that I didn't catch that when I went through and edited this and I left that long of dead space in. So we're going to start with a W9 and I'm just going to add darker sides and then blend everything out, getting lighter with the lighter colors in order to create our tires. So a W7. I wonder if you guys can hear the birds chirping or not. And then a W5. And then I think I sneak some three in there for a nice bright highlight. Now we're going to start on our tree and my marker is completely outside of the thing there so yeah it would have been an E59 and this is an E57 E no 29 27 25 see look 23 <laughs> now I'm going in with my YG's the dark ones here this is a 99 I love using these ones for leaves and foliage and things of that nature I think it looks absolutely 
fantastic. It's probably my go-to green. 97. And I'm just slowly working my way around, deciding what side I want my shadow to be on. And I end up making it a little dark all the way around. These are very cartoony images, so it works. And I love the way it looks when it's done anyway, so that's all that matters. I do have, it is currently um, cap time over at MFT, and I've not had a chance to do much of anything, but I did do two of the challenges with these cards. I'm hoping it's not too late to pick them up. I'll find out shortly once I do the voiceover. But I did do the watercolor one and the slider card with these images. So I created two cards out of all of these images. They'll both be over on my blog, and the link is in the description box below. So. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on the same blog post. They'll probably be on separate blog posts, but if you find one, you'll find the other. So both of the finished cards will be over there, and I did use every image that I colored. So now we're going to work on our cow, and I make him a black cow. So... So we're just slowly working our way through these colors, and once I get to a certain point, like this is the W5, is this when I do it, or do I wait for the next one? <laughs> I have to wait and see, because I have no idea either. It's all a surprise for all of us. Yay! W3, and that's my lightest color on my darkest color. And then it's going to be my darkest color on my lightest color, I do believe. Yes. Yes? Yes. So in the lightest color, that's my darkest, which is just going to give me a nice variation between black and a light gray. And I love this cow. He is absolutely adorable. Super cute. I um, don't have a lot to say, apparently. It's been a while since I've done some voiceovers, so I'm feeling a little awkward talking, but that's all right. I will get back into the swing of things, and I'm working on a whole bunch of things. So I'm hoping the videos will become super regular again. Once or twice a week, at least, would be fantastic. I would be over the moon with that. I appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel in the last little while. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, there's a wealth of information behind I do cards in every medium um, <laughs> that I can get my hands on. I do watercolor and Copics and colored pencils. Um, I am going to film some more with the Zig Clean Color Pens and I'm going to do some with some pastel pencils. So I got lots of stuff coming and lots of fun stuff in the past. If you haven't watched it before, you could definitely spend some time on my channel and find some really cool things. Um, I do tend to put the marker lids beside the image as I'm coloring them out, like you can see I'm doing in this video, I try to keep them in frame. Once in a while, they sneak outside of the frame. But for the most part, I do pretty good at keeping them in. And that way, it's nice and easy to see what marker I'm using, as opposed to me telling you at the beginning of every marker. Because that just doesn't work for me. So I assume it wouldn't work for everybody. So we're going to color this little sheep's face in. A nice pink tone. And his legs because I forgot about them so I went back and did them and then I'm going to make him make him a little a little gray sheep so I just kind of add a little bit of shading and scribble some around the little swirls and call it good I think these images are adorable I love MFT I could color them all the time they're fantastic. Super cute, super fun, whimsy, simple. Love the critters. It's it's fantastic. I enjoy spending time playing with these. I have a pile to do, so you guys will get some more videos, which is always fun. Now we're going to color up the little mouse. Again, using some grays. That little mouse is super cute. They're all super cute. I could say that 500 times. Everybody will get sick of it. New wording. <laughs> I haven't done a voiceover for one of these where I've colored the entire stamp set. I usually just do like a couple images that I'm going to use on a card and that's it. But it's fun to color them all up and then I can make sure that I use every stamp in a set for a change. 
isn't that a novelty? So if you have any requests for image for stamps and things that you would like to see done, definitely shoot me a comment or an email. My email address and all of that is always in the description box below. It's easy to get a hold of me. Now we're going to work on the little pig and everybody in the little trolley here. Coloring them all up. I do have a Facebook group where I do live coloring colorings one to three times a month. June is pretty light. I haven't permanently scheduled anything yet. I do think I'm going to try and sneak one in maybe before the end of the month, but June is always a crazy month. School is ending. I'm figuring out things for summer and I bought a new fridge and my house has exploded and it's just June is always a hard month, but things will be back in July. I'll have two in July for sure. And then we're into slow down season when winter comes. So we'll definitely get get lots of things done and the group is growing and I'm really enjoying and appreciating everybody that's joined the group. So thank you all so much. I hope you guys enjoy it as well and share all of your projects because you inspire me all the time, which is fantastic. And yeah, so we're going to do up our cow and that'll be the end of this. Uh, I do go through all of the images at the end. You'll see that that was filmed at the time of this. So I can't remember what I said in it, but we're going to color up the horse, of course. <laughs> I'm so punny. My child does not like when I act like I'm punny. But anyway, um, yeah, I got nothing to say. I'm relatively boring this evening. That's disappointing. So we're going to color up a nice brown horse and you guys can check out the end. Again, all of the links to a whole bunch of stuff, including the stamp set, my blog, the cards and color Facebook page, my email, mailing address, all that fun stuff is down below. If you aren't a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe. If you are, a big thumbs up is super helpful to my channel and I really appreciate everybody who does that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, so we got them all colored. I'm going to run through them here with you guys really quick. And when you see this on YouTube, it will also be over on my blog with all the completed cards for these little guys. So we've got the little sheep. I love this tractor. I want to color it red too. I will have to do that. The little horse. All the critters in a cart. The piggy. This tree is fantastic. I like that it's very simple and circular, so it's easy to fussy cut out or use the dies with, but it's also got the leaf detail inside of it, which is super awesome. Um, we've got our little spotted cow. Then there's a couple wee little birdies. One and two. And the little mouse. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos like this where I'm coloring the entire stamp set and then showing you guys the cards and things over on my blog. Um, please give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!